bottle one is made in dorsiflexion, the most laterally and very close to the tibialis anterior in order to have a good vision of a lateral gutter. Bottle two is made between the malleolus and the spod lobe when the scope is viewing the lateral gutter. Inspection starts with palpation of the synovitis in the lateral gutter, then follow the end of the tibiofibular ligament. See here the elvution of the ATFL from the malleolus. Lateral side of the talus, bare area without cartilage, triangular zone, just superiorly to the distal attachment of the ATFL. Dissection starts between the ATFL and the capsule. Care must be taken not to damage the peripheral artery branch coming from the space between the, the two bundles of the ATFL. Then complete the dissection of the ATFL. It is very important for biologic healing to prepare the anterior surface of the malleolus that will receive the different suture. The completely dissected ATFL is then checked and the first anchor is fixed on the footprint of the ATFL. The suture lasso is then charged and passed into the ATFL previously prepared. It is important to keep the loop to perform the lasso. The suture is introduced into the loop and like that, we can increase the fixation of the suture around the ATFL. A Nikki's knot is then made with twice around the stand and introducing the push knot with keeping the suture in tension and another loop is made to block the suture. To perform the Gould augmentation, we have two landmarks, tip of the fibula and tip of the fifth metatarsal. The incision is one centimeter superior to this line and the trocard is preparing the working area between the skin and the retinaculum. The arthroscope is looking superiorly and instrument introduced by the superior portal into the window created previously. This is a previously prepared malleolus and the lateral side of the talus. This is the previous suture of the ATFL and going out. You can see here the completely dissected retinaculum ready to be sutured. An anchor is then fixed on the superior part of the malleolus prepared footprint. And then with a the mini Scorpio, the two sutures are passed in the retinaculum. Another anchor is then passed inferiorly and the two sutures are passed in the retinaculum. One of each suture anchor will be sutured together and traction with the other will put the knot inside the joint. The first knot is done externally and the pulling on the two other suture will bring the retinaculum in the position of augmentation of the brostrum. Then a Nikki's knot is made to finish the suture with a knot pusher. This image shows the tensioning of the suture with the forefoot at zero degrees of dorsiflexion and inversion. The knot is then cut. This is the final inspection with the two suture and the retinaculum in the good position, just like in open surgery.